Hello, it's Revy here from Editing Visuals and in today's video I will be showing you guys how to make the melting metal text you guys saw in the beginning. Don't forget to check out our website. We have some uh, pretty pretty cool editing packs there. Let's get uh, right into this tutorial here. So the first thing we're going to do is to start making a text. My composition settings are FHD with 24 FPS for the moment. If you guys want to use the same, select the type tool here. Type metal or whatever you guys want and then customize your text to your liking. So these are my settings if you guys want to use the same. And now we're going to make the text drip, almost like my dripping text tutorial. So we're going to be adding an effect called CC Smear. Here you're just going to choose a point uh, the drip is going to start from, so maybe here on the uh, M. And then it's going to end down here. And then you can keyframe it, zero on the reach in the beginning. And then go a little bit further in and drag it to something like that maybe. And then you can separate these keyframes a little bit so it becomes a little bit more random. And then you just have to, you know, adjust a little bit how fast you want the drip to be. Copy this, Control D, sort from a new letter, maybe the T here, boom. Then copy the Y position here, Control C, then paste on a new, new one here, Control V. That looks pretty weird when it's the same, looks not like as realistic so i'm going to do something like that and then do one more Control d and here we can maybe do on the l here copy the y position just change the keyframe so it looks more realistic yeah when you're done with that you are going to be pre-composing this so you want to go here right click pre-compose and then here we're going to make a black solid layer and on this solid layer here we're going to be adding a fractal noise and you want to change the fractal type to dynamic progressive and then increase the contrast to 200 and then we're going to be keyframing the evolution here so you're going to hold alt press the clock here press time start key 250 this is how it looks now, the texture. Looks pretty, pretty cool, just like that. And now you're going to be setting the matte here. So you're going to go to the liquid text here, choose Luma matte. So this is how it looks now. Then you're going to pre-compose these layers. So mark them, right click, pre-compose. And after that, we are going to be adding CC Blobalize to this. Here set the property to alpha and the lightning and shading settings should be at default. After that we're going to be adding CC Glass. Here open up surface, softness, change it to 8.5, boom, the height to 100. Displacement 0 and then the lightness is going to be alpha here as well. Pre-compose this if you want and then here for some finishing touches add the adjustment layer and here you get some glow, increase the radius a little bit, something like that. Control D, increase the radius a little bit more, drag on intensity a little bit more. Control D, same here, radius up, intensity down. And if you think it's too much, you can adjust. So yeah, this is how the normal melting metal text looks like. Pretty, pretty cool in my opinion. If you want to, you know, spice it up a little bit more, uh, you can add one of our effects from uh, my TV glitch editing pack. So I'm going to add that to the first effect in that pack. If you add that, you will get this kind of look instead, which is pretty, pretty cool in my opinion. You could also add another effect from the TV glitch pack. So yeah, this is the sixth effect from the TV glitch pack. I thought this looked very, very cool as well. That's basically how you make the melting text effect here. And yeah, as I said, uh, if you guys want to get some, you know, bonus versions like this here, Check out the website, I have a lot of editing packs there that could improve your uh, editing a lot. Don't forget to like and subscribe, check out the Instagram, check out the Discord server, and uh, yeah, I will see you guys soon. Take care and have a nice day.